Martin, thank you again for your interest in the uh, Tipman Clicker Press. I received your uh, sample material, and now I did a couple sample cuts um, to, to replicate your, your shape that you're cutting. You know, I had to use two different dies because I did not have a basically a donut die to show you how this would work. So um, here's the cut. Now, I don't know if we're getting as clean an edge as we need to get, but there are some different things that they can do to the die uh, to improve the edge quality of the cut. Okay, uh, here's another example of a cut right here. Now this one, if you look at the, uh, got a nice clean cut on the edge there. Now disregard this hole in the hole in the circle there. I was testing another type of die, and that's how. Uh, that's what that is. Now the type of die we're going to need to use is a forged. ASTM die such as this. This is an inch and a quarter high uh, ASTM die. It's forged steel. Now yours will be a donut basically so there'll be you know two dies uh, built within each other and connected. So now real quick I'll demonstrate the press working. I'm going to take the uh, two different dies and set one die on and then set the other die on. Okay. Now again yours will be all connected together. So I'll slide everything in, touch the press, and you'll see we get, you know, the, the outer edge is a nice clean cut. Um, if you if you look at, uh, see there we go, if you look at the edge, the edge is pretty clean. Um, we get some flakes you know some flakes coming off but you know I don't know if that'll work for you or not uh, but you know there's like I say there's some things we can do to the die to improve that so you got the inner inner cut and the outer cut um, I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna send this video link over to you and then I will give you a call to discuss thanks Martin